The Nari Shakti Vandan Adhiniyam or the bill seeking one third reservation for women in the Lok Sabha and state assemblies passed in the Lok Sabha. The Nari Shakti Vandan bill passed by a majority of 452 to two MPs against the bill. The bill now to be taken up in the Rajya Sabha today. And the bill was passed after a fierce debate in the Lok Sabha. The Congress party, including the senior leader Sonia Gandhi, demanded immediate implementation and an OBC sub-quota. The opposition said this bill is like a post-dated check, while implementation will take years to be a reality. Smriti Irani, the union minister, slams the opposition, accuses them of misleading the country. And India issues a tit-for-tat travel advisory for Canada. The advisory from India warns of growing hate crimes in Canada and anti-India activities. This after Canada issued an advisory ag uh, advising against travelling to India. Amid this controversy between India and Canada, the United States intervenes, asks India to cooperate in the death probe of Khalistani terrorist Nijar. Reports say that the United States is deeply concerned about the allegations made by Canada that an Indian hand was involved in the killing. Prime Minister Narendra Modi invites US President Joe Biden to be the chief guest for the Republic Day celebrations on January 26, 2024 during the bilateral meetings on the sidelines of the G20 summit is when the invite was made. The United States Federal Reserve leaves interest rates unchanged for the second consecutive time. Interest rates held steady at a 22-year high, but the U.S. Central Bank importantly signals it was prepared to raise interest rates one more time this year to combat inflation.